Hello and welcome, I'm Aruma, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more John Mayan vs. Ottomans in European Universe House 4. He has conquered one dude. He is at peace right now. He's got CBs on everyone. It's a question of who can grow faster, <laughs> and can we get to him in time? Let's put our leader in charge here so we have the maneuver value. Let's continue to march over this way. Let's grab our barks and get them to, uh, you know what, we need the whole navy to combine. Because we are going to war with the Mamluks. The Mamluks have... Uh, they have some ships. they got 24, no heavies. And we've got 35. So as long as we keep our ships together, we should be okay. Now he does have a vassal. Fazan, but no allies. So that's good stuff. Now here's what we do. This guy has set these as vital interests. So he's going to try to take those provinces. So we're going to just move in and siege those down. And then other than that, just, you know not fight the Mamluks. We're going to let him try to do most of the work, because we need our manpower. I mean, we're probably strong enough to do it on our own. I think we actually go from Ara Araka to Hama, this province to this province, and this province to this province. So you can actually just stay here. Well, no, I want you not Raqqa. Royal marriage is not going to happen. Never. We will take more conversions. Unrest is acceptable for now, but we're going to have to take a break from some of this expansion in a moment. Okay, uh, let's call you in on Promise of Territory. We want um, Aleppo. We could, we could declare using Reconquest, which is actually reduced costs and less aggressive expansion than taking this land. I think that that might be a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do Reconquest of Aleppo. I'm totally going to give you territory, I promise. No, really, I'm going to give you territory, I promise. I mean, not really. It's a complete joke. I would never. Our navy's all together. We've got good eyes on him. Um, he is gone from there. We do have to worry about Aleppo. We'll go ahead then. He's calling me into his war. Sure. Get started on that siege. It's gonna take nine troops. Suffering a lot of attrition. Spread these guys out a little bit here. We'll move into Damascus as well. Now what I'm hoping is going to happen is that we can have enough troops nearby that the Mamluks don't want to engage us. And then Carl's going to come down and just take the front line. He's got about 30k troops as well. Between, yeah, just between himself. So if we can convince him to do the actual battle... And then just backstab him by not actually giving him any territory and having all the occupations to ourself. Then, uh, you know, screw him, because he's got one of our cores, right? And he's got a core of Syria, so we're going to attack him again soon anyway. I mean, whatever. But we don't want to be the one to take this frontline battle with the Mamluks. Also, we definitely want military tech 4. So that's really the main thing right now, is... Um, to just make sure that our armies are strong enough that he doesn't want to engage us. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Don't engage. Every time he threatens to engage, we threaten to support. And I guess, you know what? If we end up having to do the fight, we have to do the fight, but... Hopefully we get this tech. Come on. October. So close. Alright. Can we demand some military points? Didn't we already do that? Yeah, we already did. Damn. Level 3? What the hell? You think I can afford level 3 advisors already? You're nuts. Can I? Yeah, I probably can. I have a lot of money. I also have a lot of force limit available. Let's get some more mercs. 
Oh, we rolled so well. It's a six. A ten versus a zero. Sick. Looks like we might not need Kara's help. I mean, it went okay. We're gonna run out of manpower if we keep doing that, though. Mercs to the front line. Pull back the damaged infantry. Just as long- what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Get out of here. You don't belong here. Okay, so we can take tech. We're definitely gonna take tech. We can become Defender of the Faith. Do we want to become Defender of the Faith? The War Exhaustion Reduction would be nice, the Missionary would be great, the tech cost kind of sucks, but we're not gonna tech up anytime soon, so... By all means, we're Defender of the Faith now. And we get started on another conversion. We are a tech ahead of everyone nearby. What is John Mayan up to? I wonder. Uh, he's at war. Yep, he's attacking these two guys. John Mayan's gonna get scary. Uh, as soon as we can get our income above him, I'll feel a lot better. He's got nearly, like, what, 65% more income? Also known as a lot. Truce with you is up in September of next year. And do we have unrest that's at 80% yet? No, not quite. Gained land. We've gained some naval force limit. Alright, I'm actually going to train some barks. Now that we have naval superiority or like the only person that we really care about. Excellent, so we've moved on to Aleppo now. Let's just lead in with one troop. I don't think that he's gonna actually move on it, although he could. So never mind, let's go in with the whole army. Okay, so the Mamluks have 24 war score. We want all of the Syrian cores back. Um, which just means we need to transfer these. Down to these two. So we only need 76 war score, that's all. Aggressive expansion is not bad at all. Prestige is going to be fantastic. So he's trying for it again. He's not going to move on us in the mountains. Definitely not. He can't be that stupid, right? He's certainly stupid enough to suffer 4% attrition. He's trying hard. I'd like to establish a few more blockades. Just barely enough. He's still not marching. Okay, uh, nothing important really happened there. We gained five favors for not doing anything. Cool. Just for saying we would help him. Now, unfortunately, this mission, we're gonna end up not really getting much out of it. But we got the free claims, that's all that really matters. And then we'll just cancel the mission once we are done doing it. Right? We're gonna take all this land in the next war. These provinces down here. And they're going to be considered distant overseas, which is going to be the main reason why we released Syria. Come on, this siege is taking so long! Also have insufficient support. What are we allowed to have? Only 50%? Also pretty much out of manpower. Can we afford to raise additional levy? 15? I mean, giving them more influence would be fine. Even if we're not going to hire this guy, I feel like that would be okay. But if we're going to do it, I'd rather do it with a general. We have power projection now, so let's go ahead and grant a generalship. And we ended up with a 2-2. Pretty crap. 
Thanks there for making me suffer attrition. 5% attrition there. Hey, Kara. Stop it, Kara. God, you're so stupid. Okay, um... Gain piety? Yes. While we have land to convert, we need to continuously gain piety. Enthusiasm's at 18. Length of war. He still feels pretty strong, relatively speaking. As soon as this falls, I bet... Kara's looking to engage. He probably thinks with all my troops nearby, I'm gonna support him. I won't. I'm going to ignore him and let him suffer attacking into the mountains. But that's what he thinks. That's now 45 war score. Negative 129 reasons. Shoot, we got a missionary working there. He just started recently. And now he backs off. Great, of course. Well, again, I'm not gonna... Okay, there goes Karaman. Let's work on him. It's all inventory. We need four cav. Let's grab the cav. Grab the cav. Take four of the infantry mercs. No, no, no. We don't want to take the mercs. We'll pull the regular infantry off. So we're getting a ticking war score. He's not looking to engage us. I could... This is planes. Let's pull back and see if this guy will come through this way, and then maybe we can convince this this fight to happen between those two. I'll just kind of stand here like a wall to prevent anything from happening there. We're going to declare reconquest for... Whatever, it doesn't make any difference. Take our whole navy. This is more important now. I'd actually prefer the better general there for now. Supplies only 14, though. Just getting to claim on Thames? Okay. We're first, October 30th. Get our cores back this way. He's just going to go for that fort. Now, what I'm hoping again is that this guy's going to come in and want to fight him now in the plains. Level 1 fort. Need a lot of troops to get that one going. Still suffering 5% attrition. Gosh, I remember when the AI used to suffer like 15-20% attrition when they were being really stupid. I'm just trying to remember, like, how, how was the game even playable back then when they were that stupid? John Mine just declared war. All of our truces with all of the Western nations just expired. Who did he attack? Oh, Nepal. Excellent. He's expanding toward us. <laughs> That's scary! <laughs> now there is a navy out here. I'd rather not lose any ships, please.
Kara, you need to come siege. You need to go fight this guy, man. Oh, we'll take the local unrest. Sizable rebellion on the Cyprus island. Okay, these sieges are going. We've got our leader on this province because we need the bonus to help offset the penalty from the high level fort. Kara is, uh, I think he knows my game. I think he knows what I'm trying to do. We could move into Sidon. We could probably kill this four stack before he gets there. Or at least make him break his siege. Yeah, that seems good. 1717. Let's just pull back and hide out on the coastal mountains. You know what? If he takes back Damascus, it's fine. I mean, he's been here for how long now? 176 days, so that's at least six months that he suffered 5% attrition. That's a lot of men that he lost. Call it 35,000 troops. 35,000 times 0 0.05 times 6 ticks. That's 10,000 troops that he's lost. I wonder if he's actually using... Is he using... Mercs? No, he's got no Mercs. So he's just spending his manpower. Of course, we're doing the same. There we go. Now he's coming over this way. Are you gonna fight that? What are you doing? Stay out of my province. Okay, so you're trying to go around now? Is that the plan? Alright, whatever. I guess I'm going to suffer attrition while you march through. I'm not moving from these mountains. Thanks. This feels great. Thanks for the, uh, war exhaustion. It's lovely. Nice disease outbreak there, Mamluks. That sucks. Alright, he did take it. No, he broke the siege. What? Alright, Osman. Fight. Fight each other. I want you to weaken each other so that I can attack Kara. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Engage. You don't want to fight me. I'm hanging in the mountains. There's this fantastic 25 stack here for you to go engage. I'm sure you want to. Tech first, tech three versus tech three. Nepal is likely having financial or diplomatic problems and as a last resort has agreed to sell one of its provinces. He's selling his land to the to John Mayan? <laughs> okay. Right, we do have some unrest issues that are about to, to crop up, so we need to get this squared away here. I really want these guys to just fight each other. Come on. As soon as he moves on Cairo, I can't imagine him ignoring the siege. He'll come engage it. It's flat terrain. He's got the numeric advantage. I don't understand why he's avoiding this army right now. Like, he should want to go fight it. But they're, being, they're both being a little derpy. There we go. That's what we want. And he actually won. Wow. Nice work. Okay, good. That, I think, will do it. Yep, so we want that and that. This is a core. Okay, so that's zero Diplo points. Very little aggressive expansion. Kara apparently has 0% war contribution, so they're not even that upset. We are at negative 17 reasons for this peace deal. So that could just be, like, Couple ticks. We should probably move back. Here. First off, let's get these armies balanced. And then we need to move back to these provinces over here. We need at least one army to deal with that. Let's send you back up to, to here. Maybe if we get the Occupied and Besieged Province bonus against that. Well, that really only affects Enthusiasm. Negative 12 reasons. No, that's not true. Occupied and Besieged Provinces applies to this too. Yeah, so we just gotta 
Occupy and besiege some more stuff, right? I'm amazed how long both these sieges have been taken. 400 some days. Finally, there goes one. Now, ideally, he goes and he engages this army again. Yes. Perfect. Now, that is not ideal. I just forced their fleet out without actually thinking about it. Crap. There goes three barks. I want both of these guys to weaken each other tremendously so that I can get stronger. Nice work there, Kara. I mean, he's holding out. He's doing as good as well as, well as he can. Just not quite enough. We did lose five war score from that, but I do think that it's still better for us to weaken, weaken him. So, negative 25 reasons now for peace. If this damn siege could just fall, we could get our better leader down here. Now that is great. Now that he's locked, we move to engage. He'll be gone by the 11th. We're on there on the 14th. That gives us a few days to beat up on this 6 stack. We've got a tech advantage. We'll take base tax, always. There we go. Take all of our cores back. Now we have this better leader available. We have 64 war score now. Negative 9 reasons. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. But in the next episode, we're going to uh, be looking pretty good, I think. As far as expansion goes. Now, John Mayan is also looking pretty good. Uh, he's taking some time to core his land in between wars, but he will continue to expand, and we need to be ready to face him. So, let's go ahead and take this thing, by the way. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.